The solar eclipse is next month, and Indiana is certainly living up to its name as the crossroads of America. That's because it'll be a top destination come April 8th. That's the day we're counting down to. The state is predicting a million visitors will be coming here. And Bloomington is going to be a real popular spot. Our Lauren Costick went there today to see how that city and university are getting ready for that big event. In just a month, tens of thousands of people will be sitting right here in Memorial Stadium taking a look at the total solar eclipse. And even though it may seem exciting, public safety officials have some concerns. Indiana is no stranger to hosting large events. Drivers, start your engines. Every year, the Indy 500 draws more than 300,000 people to the small town of Speedway. But for the solar eclipse, Experts say you can triple that. We know that the rareness and beauty of this event could increase populations by three or four times. And in fact, the eclipse could bring us several hundreds of thousands of people to Bloomington. And we've heard estimates up to one million in the Indianapolis region. And unlike the 500, there is no roadmap for public safety leaders. That's because the last time Indiana saw a total solar eclipse was in 1869. This is a once a lifetime event where you know, we, we're not, we don't have a game plan already prepared for this, so we've had to really work with our partners and come up with our plan. State police say the biggest challenge will be traffic, on top of poor cell service and the possibility of bad weather. It's why they say you need to plan now. Plan to arrive early, stay where you are, and get home late. One way to do that is I use Hoosier Cosmic Celebration. The four-hour event is at Memorial Stadium. It includes entertainment and special guests like William Shatner from Star Trek. It gives people an opportunity to hang out uh, for a little bit longer, um, enjoy some phenomenal entertainment, and uh, ease their trip home. A trip Bloomington leaders say will not be overshadowed. You also have a month left to get your hands on some of these glasses. They will allow you to watch the eclipse safely. In Bloomington, Lauren Costick, 13 News. Well, there are many, many eclipse events all around central Indiana for yep. that day. Yeah, we pulled them all in one spot for you. Just go to WTHR.com slash eclipse. We've got information about all of the events taking place, and you can learn more about that big event.